to have to stand here to be defending our welfare state against possibly the worst attacks we have seen since its very creation in the 1940s. What we are facing is an attempt to roll back all of the gains we have achieved over that time and push us back into the 1920s and 1930s. In order to build a real movement against these cuts, in order to stand up for our services, as previous speakers have said, we need to understand a few key things about these attacks. Firstly, they're not just economic attacks, they're ideological. These attacks are based on an attempt to undermine the gains that working people have won over the years. They are not about cutting the deficit. If the government wanted to cut the deficit, it would cut Trident. It would end the occupation of Afghanistan. It would close the tax loopholes that allow hundreds of millions and billions of pounds every year out of our economy. That would be cutting the deficit. Instead, they're attacking our services, they're attacking our jobs, and they're attacking our paying conditions, and we need to stand up for ourselves. In order to respond to an ideological attack, we need an alternative. We need to build around positive solutions. The Trades Council is firmly committed to building around the concept of a real alternative, an alternative that puts people first, that builds public services, that invests in jobs, and that creates a real future for all of us. For us, our starting point is the People's Charter. It calls for a fair economy, for a fairer Britain, investment in more and better jobs, decent homes for all, defending and extending public services, fairness and justice, and building a secure and sustainable future for all. The detail is here, the details online, have a look at it. It's not a blueprint for the future, but it's the beginning of a discussion of the kind of policies we would like to see, policies that put people before profits. The second thing we need to understand about the cuts is that they are going to affect everybody. Oxford and District Trade Council, through its affiliated members, represents around 15,500 workers in Oxfordshire. All of those people will be affected. So will the thousands who are not in trade unions. So will the thousands who are not organised. This affects every single one of us. And it's great to see all of you here today. But the first thing we need to do when we go away from this rally is we need to build this movement bigger. We need to go into our workplaces, into our communities, and we need to show people the effect that this will have on them. We need to really build a movement that involves everybody. The third thing we need to understand about these cuts, and this is the final point, but the way in which they affect us will be locally specific. It will be individual services that are picked off one by one. It will be cutting sections from certain services, picking on the weak points to begin with while they roll back the whole of the welfare state. If we're to resist that, we need to build those campaigns. Wherever there's a campaign to save a school, to save a hospital, we need to be there. The Trades Union Council, the Right to Work campaign, the People's Charter campaign, save our services. We need to be there supporting those people, building that movement, defending those individual services. It's not just about a national campaign, it's about really getting to grips with the local impacts of this, where it will affect people on the ground. I'd like to end by just mentioning one such campaign. Tonight there's a meeting of the Save Oxford School campaign. They've called this meeting not just about the situation of Oxford School, which is threatened with closure and replacement with a private academy, but about the situation facing all our schools from the academy still. This will allow the privatisation of all of our schools. Yes, they've offered it first of all to those judged outstanding by Ofsted, because they feel if they can take away the best performing schools and the budgets with them, local authorities will be left with diminishing budgets and the most difficult schools to support. That's the way they seek to undermine our education system. The meeting's tonight, 7 o'clock, at Ralph Price School, Boundary Brook Road, opposite Donington Bridge. Please join us there. Help us to build this movement, back the People's Charter, defend our services.